Hello guitarists, my name is Mustafa and welcome to MK Guitar. Today I'm going to teach you a concept that you can apply to your licks and phrases and add a little bit of Arabic flair into the mix. The way we're going to do that is by trying to emulate the sound of the oud, which is one of the most iconic Arabic instruments. Before we start, this lick is very difficult, so I have broken it into four different steps that you can learn. And actually, each one of those steps could work as a lick on its own. So that's pretty cool. And what would a YouTube video be without a call to action? If you learn something today, please subscribe. Slowly. So what we're doing here is we're playing the A, which is the fifth fret on the sixth string. And we are playing it with the open A string at the same time. And then we're alternating between the fretted A and the open string A. So that's together. Alternate. And then we're pulling off to the G sharp with a vibrato. Example two, we'll do exactly the same as example one, except we're playing it as a melody. So the notes are A, B, C, A, B, or fret 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, then 2, 3, 5, 2, 5, or F sharp, G, A, F sharp, A. Notice how I'm sliding at the end to the A to match the drone. And you're playing all those notes with the open string drone. Electrical guitarists, you can do this with a palm mute. It's really cool. Try it out. Step number three elaborates on step number two and add a cool motif to it. Let me show you. So I'm going to play the F sharp on the sixth string and the A. Now I'm going to play the A with my thumb. So index thumb F sharp A. So that's three notes. I need the fourth to complete the beat. I would hammer on the G or the third fret. So I play the F sharp. And then I would play the F sharp. In step number three, we added that flair by alternating between the fifth or the sixth string. In other words, we alternate it between two strings. You can actually do this and alternate between three strings, like so. Now the first five notes are exactly the same as step three. But now when I play the C on the fifth string, or the fifth note in the example, I hammer on on the fourth string. Then I play the note on the fourth string, now I introduce that third string into the mix. And the reason this works is because I have an F sharp and a G, a minor second. Isn't that cool? Now comes the moment of truth, which is step number four. So this one's really hard to explain, but I'm going to do my best. The first part of this lick is exactly the same as step number one. Now the second part of this lick is the meat of the idea. It's also the hardest, but the most virtuosic, and it will surely impress some people. What you have to do is play notes in groups of three. You tap the sixth string, you play the sixth string, then you play an open string. One, two, three. Once you get 
get there yet to pull off. Remember that. Now this pull off, let's just call it note number one. In the new group. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But that's nine notes, right? Three, three, three. That's nine notes. Then think of this one as number one. When you pull off. Right? Now you don't actually play the pull off. I just play it so that you can hear it. You don't actually play the pull offs, but you just pull off. But that's number one. Because the next group is going to be four notes. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you pull off. That's number one. And then the next group is four notes, which is you play the seventh fret, then you pull off, you play the open string, and then you pull off. So you play, you pull off, you play the open string, and you pull off. So that's three, three, three. Then there's that one note that you have to play, and then there is a group of four. So one plus four, that's five. Okay, so let's try that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pull off. If you can master that concept, then you basically can play the entire lick because it's the same trick over and over and over again with slight variations. So there you have it, that's four tricks to add flair to your phrases. If you want to hear Creep from Radiohead on the ukulele, click on this card, or Stairway to Heaven, which is coming this weekend, click on this card. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.